At Foxins, you know all about how to sell property. What makes healthy design sell for you? Uh, there's been a big change and there's an increasing trend to see things that have previously driven property prices have started to, there's been some, some, some influences out there, some agitators and some game changers. I think one key thing is that we live in an urban world and the world has become more uh, populated. There's much more people who are starting to live in cities. Around 50% of the world's population live in cities. In London, that's closer to around 80%, uh, or in the UK rather, about 80% of the population lives in cities. So what we're finding is more and more people are staying in the middle. And there's been a continual trend of people not wanting to leave the city. That's starting to force change, where now more property, more development, more areas are becoming greener, or there's certainly pressure on creating green open spaces. Now, whether that's within the building, within a regeneration area, or within a flat, plants, living walls, trees, or really good landscaping is proving really, really popular. Now, there are a number of things which influence the property's value, and what we've noticed is prices are improving because of traditional methods, things like transport, education, and employment. But more recently, we've also seen a big, big change towards retail, restaurants, lifestyle, and green open spaces. So places which have parks, places which have water, canals, and places which have uh, either private communal spaces, such as garden squares, or big open expanses, places like Victoria Park or Richmond Park, are proving really, really popular. Now, London is set up with this wonderful grid, or rather ring, of villages, Blackheath, Clapham Common, Richmond, St John's Woods, etc., etc. It goes right round. And what we're also finding now is some of the developers are creating their own little mini versions of these villages. And whether it's large scale projects done by Argent, Lend Lease, or Ballamore, or whether it's more smaller schemes where it's an individual development with green gardens, roof gardens, courtyards. There's a big, big trend to improve the green, the leisure, the peace. I think what is known is the effects of biophilia, how well applicants feel, how nice they feel. Properties that are green sell quicker, let quicker. People seem to stay longer, as in better rentals. People seem happier, and there is an effect on price. Lastly, to quantify that, we see some of our property values between 10 right through to 30% higher when really good landscaping creates a nice flow, lots of privacy, and where it fuses the outside to in and also the inside to out. So where the development, I suppose, dissolves into the landscape. But when that's taken a stage further, or perhaps right through to the flat level, the individual unit level, we can actually see prices move even higher than that. Thank you very much.